greatest thing at the ultimate culmination of what Hoi 4 shall be is in Kaiserreich Republic in France. I love that nation. You are in Africa, you have build up, you have history, you have cool side things. You have to fight your ass off to get France back. Even if you get France back, you get a brand new focus street to go to war with Europe. Today, for example, if we get France back, I can bring back Napoleon. It's massive. It's great. Uh, I'm very excited, man. Let's check it out, boys. Check it out. Call of Duty 1 is with us. Amazing, amazing. So, yeah, the warm up is going to be Steel Edition for now. Uh, fake you lefty testy. What's the next game Tommy K cares about that come, comes out? It's Immortal Empires, right? In like one week or something? By the way, I didn't. I didn't. I did. Did I uh, pre order? Did I pre order? It's Immortal Empires, right? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fully switch to Warhammer soon, dude. Maybe oh, I phone Warhammer is gonna be the thing. Champions of Chaos. I didn't pre order it? No. I didn't pre order that. 24th August. That's six days. Six days? In six days, approximately. I need to uh, pre-order that, man. Let me keep that open for later. 10% off, even. And then we're becoming a Warhammer fucking stream. What about Shogun 2? Kappa? Kappa, Kappa? When is Zomboid update? I don't know. Immortal Empires is free. Yeah, I just... Um, the Chaos Champions are not. Can I receive a kiss? Non-subs never get kissed. Guess that... Guess head people Tommy K knows I exist. I am best person in world. What is the best mod I have for you? Kazuai, Kazuai. Easy man. ID still on screen. What's on screen? Oh, it's on. Oh. I need to. I'm very excited for Warmer, man. I just hope it's not a trash game on very hard and I'm gonna get Ultra Mad and Sad. Let's see, man. I'm excited. Uh, one sec. I have a message from Twitch. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, I can't. There's this thing on Twitch. If you stream a certain amount of hours, you get a little money. But I can't do that anymore because I have a kid now. So all the money is gone. Ah, uh, so the French nation uh, player at peace conference, maybe. And, uh, and Redux, who cares? Mika resigns. This this is gonna be a mega campaign, I think. There's like a million focus trees. Uh, power drops, a real guarantee. Blah blah. Volunteers, vocals, power drops. Uh, no bullshit. I want to play serious. I don't want to play dumb shit. <laughs> Peace conferences. Player primacy. Okay, fucking hell, let's go. There's no even historical focus uh, anyway, because Kazrak is crazy. So, what the fuck is this fucker telling me, dude? New France focus tree is massive. Big nation France NFA guide. Blah 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 blah. Okay. To get Napoleon and the Empire, after Yanin resigns, meet with either Moron or Delarouque. Refuse their demands, reach out to the far-right leagues when Moras asks you to repeal the law of exile except accept Louis Napoleon's demands and endorse him fully. Okay, here we fucking are, man. This is gonna be a mega ultra campaign, dude. Goddamn, I need the right music for this shit. This is gonna be long. But I'm happy to be back in my favorite Republic of France, Kaiserreich. This is Redux, though. It's, it's just the greatest thing ever, man. Does the COD CD on your desk mean we get some old-school content? I think the graphics are too bad, man. I don't think it's gonna... Dude, the COD 1 campaign is insane. But I, I don't think so, man. Right now, let's just stay with Steel Division a bit. I'm, I'm genuinely enjoying Steel Division, man. Really enjoying it. First of all, I sent everything to Algiers for um, supply. And then... Nope. And then we have some training going on. I didn't read the new Death Diary, we can do it in the end. There's so many videos I need to react to, Quartz Kazak. Uh, there's a new Ukraine video from Kings and Generals, blah, 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 blah. There's so much to do, man. So, construction. Construction. I am Piton. Piton? I always thought Piton is something bad. But for you, Piton. The Lion of Verdun. Core defense and attack, war support and stability. Is this considered a core of mine? It is considered a core of mine, so I have... Uh, a damage bonus against the Commune of France. Good. I can't choose it. What? I can't choose. I can choose how he looks. <laughs> Silence super events. Only regional news. We have. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't know what's happening, man, those are claims actually, Tommy. Oh, sorry, it's claims. 
If you don't know what this is, this is a, a mod where World War I was won by Germany. Germany has won World War I, which led to Britain and France having a communist uprising. And the real France, like Taiwan, had to leave to North Africa. I am the real France, National France. I want to take my home back. And even when you do that, which is very hard, you even get a new tree, man. Pretty fucking sweet. Uh, we have anti-communal. We hate communists. Makes sense. After our defeat in the Welt Creek of 1919, the Communards rose up again and abolished our cherished republic. Luckily, some of the most important figures of the republic have immigrated to Algeria, where they plan to organize the counter-revolution. Now that the syndicalist traitors have taken full control of the mainland, we must crush them. We must ensure that our eternal France will always be free. Jacques Chirac, le omelette du fromage. Louis Franchet de Espere. School of Psychology. God, I can't... I had so much fun in the Steel Vision here. Like, that was really fun. Uh, Code de l'origine donc. Uh, I have no stability but building speed. The Code de l'ingénierante remains in place since the creation in 1887. A diverse set of laws and regulations imposed on the native population of the empire. They enshrined their inferior legal status despite them being technically French citizens. Oh, this is about that everyone who's not French is kind of fucked. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We also have simmering discontent. That's not good. Years of inaction and political stagnation have caused many elements within the army and the population to become dissatisfied with the current regime, something hardly helped by Maurice Janin's repeated blunders. This has extensively played into the hands of both resurgent liberal parties and the far-right leagues. Although it is suppressed, con con contestation is slowly but surely growing. This is kind of like they're mad at me or some shit. Thank you, Proximo, man. Abandon monarchy, embrace um... Break the chain. I need better music, guys. Here we go. Okay, that's our three thingies. Everything else is pretty base. Pretty base, and we're occupying a lot of stuff, and people are very mad at that. Thank you, Stab. They're doing well, man. Don't worry about it. So I'm gonna open up a Sif, obviously, in Algier. In Algier. Seven Sifs, not even that bad. Music? Musica? Um, I'm starting with the weapons, right? Okay. Well, the basic opener, let's not be... I'm doing the base opener. Change game on Twitch. You are correct, sir. You are correct, though. I thought it. Hey, did you see there? Mastering Modern Warfare 2. Look on Steam. I trust you. I don't need to look. Sounds great. Okay, dude. There's a lot happening here, dude. A lot of focuses are not available at the moment. Oi, 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 oi. Prepare the liber... Oi, 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 oi. Dude, there's a lot going on. Oh, shit. Once you're liberated, you get a big focus stream. Alter, look at these focuses. Holy crap. Return of the King. Ooh. This is whoever liberated France gets his own focus stream, man. That's, oh god, I love that shit. I like that shit, brother. So I can only do this right now. Thank you, Witness Prawn. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I have a sudden rush to colonize. How does it feel being both a dad and a sigma male at the same time? Chat how you fall by one to three. Once you will sub, you will realize what it feels like, man. Prepare for the liberation. Army XP command power, land doctrine, and gets a bitter truth. The situation uh, in continental Europe is quickly becoming more and more tense with elections imminent among the communard traitors whose relations with the Germans are more tense than ever. There's no point in denying that a conflict even worse than the horrors of the Great War is around the corner, and that conflict will be the only chance we ever get to liberate the metropole from syndicalist tyranny. As such, we must review our milita military capabilities and seek to resolve debates within the army. And that's about it, man. Welcome to a campaign that hopefully doesn't get fucking destroyed by bullshit. Let's have some fun, Republican France, man. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I'm fucking reading. Oh, okay. Lol, I didn't read. Sorry, I can't fucking do it. The lore is, man, we were kicked out of France from the communists and we're trying to get back. There you go. There you go. There you go. Just watch the tip if you want to learn. Uh, we have some air here I'm going to turn off. And have a nice fleet. And that fleet is going to be so fucking important to invade later. One fleet, right? Actually, where's that second fleet? Bring them over here. Hold on. Uran. Uran is a bigger port than Algier. Okay, they're coming from over here. Okay. Are you coming over? Yeah. Good. 
Good, good, good. Also, you should unpause the game, Tommy. It's a fun. Uh, what videos do I have to react to today? Fucking Ukraine? Kings and Generals? Fucking Death Diary? Fucking... Kurzgesagt? Fucking Channel 5? Four videos, bro. I gotta be Reaction Andy, bro. Dude, I need a new outfit. Give me my old suit. Ah, looking good, looking good. Thank you, Bjorn, my brother. Man. Thank you very much. Thank you, dude. Dana breaks with the Croix de Feu. François de la Croix, Catholic Corporation is Croix de Feu. A major ally of the Junta and the Assembly today suffered a significant setback. The party has long been a broad tent coalition, united mainly by the De La Roque. His own charisma and by shared distrust for liberal democracy. However, the tensions caused by this have clearly reached a boiling point, with some of the party's hardliners under Joseph Darnot splitting off entirely, splitting off entirely, and splitting off from the Chevaliers du Griff to form the Chevaliers du Griff. It's an ever stronger than France Navy. We're gonna find out. There's also a new Ash of Creation video. Oh my god. So much to do, but so much baby to have. Claiming inspiration from the Ligonaris in Romania and seeking to defend French racial purity. And they're kind of telling me the, about the fascists. The... No, wait. The populism is getting 1%. Claiming inspiration from the Ligonaris in Romania and seeking to defend French racial purity and restore French power in Europe. Don Nong has notably proclaimed his absolute loyalty to the Patron government in what we can only assume is a ploy for influence in the UNTA. Nevertheless, Don Nong's group remains on the extreme fringe and his radicalism is regarded with suspicion by much of the population, while Patong's allies in the Junta have no interest in working with him. If anything, his split from the Croix de Foix has harmed De La Roque through exposing the vision. So they're telling me about this rock guy who is kind of like a bit of a Nazi. He's like purity, French for the French. Let's take back home. Okay, interesting. Check Bohemian Focus Street. No. No, I'm playing France, man. I'm playing France, man. The Riga Winter Olympics. Congratulations to the winner, which is apparently not us. I need to, I need to, I need to get a different suit. That looks good. That looks good, man. Born in 1856. By 1914, Philippe Tong was one his way towards retirement after a discreet and honorable career as an innovative military. Fear it. Yeah, fuck you, Patron. Louis Fonchet de Esprit retires. Pugnant news and destruction today. As Marechal Louis Fonchet de Esprit, hero of the Great War in Patron's long standing chief of staff, has gone into retirement. Wasn't he the guy here? Yeah, this guy is going to get retired. Um, he is an old man now and clearly feels unable to lead men in the war and successfully as he did 20 years ago and so few can blame him for stepping back. Nevertheless, Pitong's government has lost a vital political ally and a popular and a popular figure campaign propelled of rounding up support for the junta. Furthermore, without the unifying figure of the Esberet, debates in the military are likely to come to the surface as Pitong will be forced to choose a new chief of staff. Ooh. Oh, he's retired, bro. He's retired. Death of a friend. His Majesty George V of the UK has died. F, man. So, so sad, dude. Big, big sad. We have so much fucking uh, terrorism going on already. Oh, God. A new king is crowned. Edward the Eighth. Damn, look at that guy. What a chad. Autocratic tendencies. The king's speech. British king out. He got more. Good stuff, good stuff. The Lion of Canada. After a 60-hour transatlantic flight, Marshal Pitong arrived in Ottawa, greeting the Prime Minister Mackenzie King and a large crowd of Canadians, mostly Quebecois, who see the state visit as a renewal of Anglo-French cooperation. They then drove to Windsor, where late King Emperor George had asked to be buried. After a grandiose and emotional ceremony, where Pitong was finally able to say farewell to a personal friend and ally, he took a tour of Ontario and Quebec, greeted all along the way as a friend of the Empire, before meeting with King Edward VIII. In a pre planned move, the two men shook hands in front of the media of the world, and the new king declared that no matter the struggles the future holds, the French and the British shall work together to beat the communists. We're getting good relations. Thank you, director, my dude. Uh, uh. Kaiser Redux is not better than Kaiser Reich. They're, they're, they're different. You can't really compare them. Kaiser Redux is like crazy and crazy and crazy. And Kaiser Re Kaiser Reich normal is like 
not crazy, you know. Oh god, it's gonna be a fucking reading stream. Over a week has now passed since Louis Franchet de Esperet retired, and Piton has still held back on announcing a successor. This is because the Esperet's retirement has robbed the military of a unifying and respected figure capable of papering over the growing doctrinal divides as a younger generation of officers seeks to find solutions to the military's decline. On one side, General Charles de Gaulle and his allies are known for their conviction that the nation can, in its current circumstances, only sustain a relatively small army, and thus should focus on professionalism and a high quality of training equipment. Dude, I agree. Go with Charles de Gaulle. I don't want to go with... You should, as a small nation, as a minor like this, you should have, like, free marines with crazy stats. Thank you, Cow King and the Fat Chicken. Federal de Gaulle is passionate in his belief that tanks are the future of warfare. Ooh, thank you, Escrogo to Chachachou. Merci beaucoup. Uh, and that the army should develop elite armored units which can achieve concentrated rapid breakthroughs. Opposing de Gaulle's faction is a group of officers centered around Admiral Francois Dolong and General Merci Maron, who follow a more traditional approach and is often more popular among... I want to go with Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle becomes a field marshal. You get Charles de Gaulle as a massive tank leader. <sighs> the point is though, one thing I realized when I played this before is that you don't have industry and time for tanks. You are all about Marines, so. But the tanks could help later if I actually take France back. The infantry guy makes more sense, dude. 10 orc and 10 division recovery for infantry that's about to invade South France. But Charles de Gaulle is more like late game shit, dude. I'm taking him, man. Could be a big mistake. Because, dude, I'm not going to have tanks landing in Marseille, dude. It's going to be infantry. De Gaulle gives motorized bonus, not tanks. Armor division. I think that's tanks, man. I think that's tanks. Afghanistan war. Rumors of more ducks. Imminent demise. By the way, what the fuck do I need to do? Uh, Pre-liberation. After Yanin resigns, meet with Maron or De La Roque. After Yanin resigns. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Jean-Jules Henri Mordor has long served the armed forces of France, but as the political stage of our exiled regime begins to change its main players as the winds of change blow across our Saharan home. Mordak has begun to fear for his own life. Rumors have spread that his enemies within the radical right, within France is left, or that even Algerian natives seek to fuck him up. General Jacques Massou and Armand Rugier, both old allies on confidants of Modoc, now work within the Belgian-German Congo Free State and could provide a safe haven for him should he flee. However, the dark heart of the dark continent is fraught with danger and filled with death and disease, especially if you don't have a condom. Luckily, Modoc has some experience surviving in Africa due to his time serving in Algeria, both during the 1880s and again during the rise of the Commune of Paris. But the sand dunes of Algeria are a far different beasts to tame than the dangerous jungle Eden of the Congo. However, it is not certain that he is in any real danger. Should I... Oh, should he leave or should he stay? Should I stay or should I go now? Hmm. Who are you even? Are you like a friend or are you... Who are you, man? You should stay? I'm letting him go, bro. He's probably gonna get... He's probably gonna get killed, man. Black Monday! Oh! They took my money! In the dead of night, General Henri Modoc seems to have fled the nation, leaving behind most of his personal belongings and only taking his wife, Jean Laurent, and the family with him. As he vanished into thin air, seemingly over rumors and reports that various groups, such as the local Algerians, remain being socialist agents or his former allies in the French, right? One of them dead. He is fucking gone. Unbelievable. Who even is he? Who the fuck is that guy? I have no idea. Why does that matter? The question is where's is Napoleon? Don't fuck this game up. This could be a great video. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, I'm gonna start behaving better, fat chicken. You dumb cunt. A murder in the Kasbah. Did he fucking die? Oh, God. Shocking news has reached the nation today. Last night, the retired general, Henri Modoc, was found dead in the Kasbah, having been stabbed repeatedly and left bleed on the gutter. Dude, I tried to save him. The fuck, man? He got stabbed. Modoc had a glittering career in the Great War, successfully holding the town of Arras against the Germans in 1914 and becoming deeply influential. Why the fuck do I care? We can't know for sure, maybe we should dig deeper. Who killed him? 
The adversary behind this? Let's dig deep. Who killed him? Why do I care? I don't want to go to Afghanistan war. Like, why do I care? Preparation for liberation. Did I unlock anything? Because this, dude, this focus tree is almost too big. I don't know where to go. Is there a Black Monday folk? Oh, God. What? There's no Black Monday focus, is there? No. It's for Nazi Donong path. Okay. Read that path, guy. It's not part of my path, guy. So I don't care. Thank you, uh, Flip Almighty, dude. Yeah, this focus tree is crazy. The trans Railway was such a cool thing back in the day. I remember that. So sick. When you finish that, it gives you no more terrorism. Yeah, I don't care about this stuff. You guys, don't don't make me scared. This is nothing for me. After Janine resigns, me with Maron. Yeah. I need Janine to resign. Everything else is whatever. You unlock two new trees. Oh. Air and Navy. But that's about it. Okay. I remember that this is ultra important. This allows you to build the trans saharan Railway, which makes all the Africans you're occupying very happy about you, and they stop fucking you up, man. The trans saharan Railway. I remember it takes forever to build that. The trans saharan Railway gets constructed. You have five consumer goods and 15 minus PP the whole time. And you can build the trans saharan Railway Phase 2. I remember this is so cool, man, who designed this. Really cool, man. Right side, you have a resource slot. Jinong's plan. I think that's important to get it early, but there's a resource slot, man. What are there? There's a research, man. And a lot of fucking... A lot of fucking military... Uh, well, fuck me. Where do you see the research slot, man? What you mean there, the research, man? What you mean, the research? Research speed? Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, oh, that looks actually cooler, man. Fuck, I'm taking that. That looks too good. Industrialize the colonies. Four sifts in a lot of weird shit. Our current industry could never hope to sustain a military campaign across the metropole. If we are to have any hope of liberating our brothers and sisters, we must reactivate the situation and seek to encourage a far greater level of industrial growth across the colonies. Subsidies for new construction projects in both the Maghreb and Sub-Saharan terrorists will begin to get industrial cables back on track. Let's go. The bitter truth. How do you open guides? I just showed it. Having taken stock of our military and industrial capacity, we can no longer hide from a simple and harsh fact. As it stands, our economy and army are fucking shit. And we are not gonna kill anyone. Urgent and drastic reforms are urgently needed. And public pressure on Premier Journon is reaching a fever pitch. Patong himself is said to be deeply angered by the findings, demanding that Janin do something and possibly growing more sympathetic to the voices from his government that want to see a further consolidation of the Junta. PP and stability gone, Janin has a plan. Janine, what's your plan? Tell me under the gold plan, there's another research slot. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting all the research, man. All the research. <sighs> you should play Bohemia, Tommy. How about I just fucking do what I want? Like left clicking you and putting you in the corner, okay? You're in the fucking corner, Kevin, where you always are. Because your mom, even your mom doesn't want to listen to your bullshit anymore, okay? China war happening. Napoleon Technocracy. Oh la la. What's the first video we're gonna watch today? I guess channel 5 out of the way real quick. The one, the, only, the last news channel. Oh, it's a rap festival. Oh god. It's a rap festival. Jeanong's plan. Here we go. Uh, Pitong's premier, Maurice Jeanong. Uh, has few redeeming features. He is uncharismatic, unmotivated, incompetent, and prone to political blunders. Most of all, he's an unsub. He is, however, loyal. And it is that loyalty that has inspired him to come to the Maréchal today with an undesirable, with an undesirable, if necessary, proposal. Thank you, Corporal Joseph Porta. Jesus Christ. Uh, in order to ensure that he has the political capital to push through the military spending that is needed to get the army into a fit state for the liberation, Janong intends to pay off a large number of deputies in the assembly. Although he knows that such corrupt measures are far from e ideal, e ideal, ideal, and could cause significant problems if leaked, Janong is certain that it is the only way forward. Let's hope we can keep this quiet. Thank you, Zerdaog. Zerdaog, the demon Hi, prince. You tell me. How are you? Yeah, I think we're gonna watch this today, man. Yeah, I need to pre-order. We might watch this today. Final uh, minutes of the stream. I think we might watch this, yeah. New update for Pax Britannica. Nice. Checking it out later. Ideal. 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 
I'm pre-ordering a uh, warmer um, Chaos Lords. An unexpected arrest today. The news splashed across the front pages that has astonished most. The murderers of Henri Modak. Oh, I, I, I did that. Have been clearly proven as guilty and rounded up. They are, however, a far cry from the Arabs. Jews or leftists, whom Maras and Donat had accused. Rather, the guilty men are outwardly respectable white citizens. <gasps> and among them, crucial is Henri Chabonneneu, Joseph Dordron, so a nephew and a former member of the Action, Action Francaise. This is like the Nazis. Who drifted further to the right and joined more. Fringe leaks. This connection to the murder has greatly embarrassed Don Nong. And it, uh, oh man, that doesn't seem right. So the right wingers got fucked a bit from this. I feel like I need Jo Nong to resign. I need Jo Nong to resign. The scandal, oh God. The scandal breaks through. Ah, merde, oh God. In news that surprised few in the know, Jo Nong's corruption has today been exposed. GG. That's good for me. In all its sordo so so. <laughs> Sorted detail. Elaborate bribes, disturbing threats, even promises to turn a blind eye to blatantly illegal activity in exchange for support, all have been common practices of the Zhenong government, and all have intensified recently as Zhenong makes a belated effort to strengthen his hand. Everyone from the staunch liberal Camille Chotong to Charles Maras and Joseph Donong have harshly rebuked not only Zhenong, but Breton himself, and although Jeanong's fall from power is now a certainty, some even speculate that the Junta itself is on the way out. Authoritarian democracy, which is me, right? Yeah, is getting wrecked. I lose. I get. We're getting fucked. We're getting fucked, man. Like everybody is really mad. The white feathers. Critical to the stability of the regime, the Society of the Missionaries of Africa, the Catholic Society. Okay, they're making everybody Christian. They give me stability. Cool, man. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very unstable, brothers. Very unstable. I am very unstable. You can get some air here. Oh, he resigns. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Okay, but well, before we do this, you get Napoleon. After Jeanon resigns, meet with Moron or De La Roque, refuse their demands, and reach out to the far right leagues. Okay. Get it. Thank you, Torman. What's up, bitch? How you doing? 44 months? Crazy, man. You like have a beard now. When you were subbing first time and you didn't even have fucking hair in your face. Today, Today the inevitable came to pass and after two days spent locked away in his office, Maurice Chanon gave a short, regretful speech to a jeering assembly, announcing his immediate resignation. It was clear that Pitong himself had forced him out, threatening the... Ah, you fuck, man. Okay, I gotta talk. I already forgot again. I gotta talk to... My boy... Morong and De La Roque and refuse their demands. Refuse Morong's and De La Roque's demands. Democracy back in Ustralasia, la la. If you use console commands, you can fix your issues. Well, the console commands won't fix your nickname. Next move. Ever since Jeanon resigned, the Republic has been without any Prime Minister and the Junta has been in chaos. With Pitong forced to take on the daily administrative responsibilities that he has grown used to delegating. Meanwhile, protests supported by everyone from liberals to legionnaires are continuing in the streets and we are running out of time to stabilize this shit. As such, there's two possibilities. Uh, first, as I suggested, as is suggested, dude, I'm sorry, something's wrong with my stomach. He could seek to gain support of civilian politicians through more legitimate means than Janine had used. This will entail entering into discussion with either Francois de la Roque, leader of the Creux de Feu, and a darling of the far right, or Louis Moron, leader of the center right federation of Republicans. Either man will be able uh, will be able to use his political prestige and support base to restore confidence in the regime, but will also demand extensive concessions in exchange for doing so. Something which has inspired some Piton loyalists to urge the Maréchal not to bother talking to any politicians. Civilian politics, they argue, is responsible for dragging France into the chaos it's currently in. And it is time for Piton to fully secure the Junta's position. So arrange a meeting. Wait, who do I click on though? It says I need to meet with both, but here I only have one option. It's one or two. It's one or two, okay. Meet with... It refused them. I'm meeting with him. 
reach out to Morong. I'm refusing his demands, and then I reach out to the far right leagues. We're getting Napoleon pretty quick. No, I need to then take France, and then Napoleon really comes in. Hello, I missed you. I don't know who you are. Okay, I will not take his demands. No, no, no. <laughs> the song, this is the EU4 soundtrack, man. EU4 soundtrack, bro. La cagoule! La oh my god. Oh god, oh god. Dude, who developed this? This guy did not have ADHD. Uh, after much investigation and infiltration by the police, the full stalking truth of the death. Okay, they killed someone. Everybody. It sucks, man. People lose stability. I don't know. No. Today, the Muslims all over. They are having a Muslim party. Good job, man. S. A meeting with Mahong. I need to refuse him. I need to refuse his ass. As faithfully arranged by Betong supporters, the Lion of Adun, the respected command of the Great War, has met with Louis Morong, the conservative politician and staunch Republican. When Foch assumed control of the government, Morong was one of the many centrist politicians who reluctantly accepted the Junta as a stabilizing force. Over the 1920s, he came to staunchly defend the Foch regime from both its opponents and his own party, and with the tacit Backing of the Junta took charge of the Federation Republican, a Catholic conservative party nonetheless committed to the Republic. When Pitong succeeded for in 29, Marong aided in the smooth transition of power and has since been a prominent, if reluctant, supporter of the regime, the Resemble. Pitong, for his part, has been willing to delegate policy making a day day administration to the FR among other allies. However, Marin is now. Oh god, I'm just gonna refuse you. Reform is the way, except. I'm refusing his ass. Okay, fuck off. Jesus. I can't read that shit. Who the fuck gets her full for story? Okay, I wanna kill people. Refuse to demand sweet out to the far. When. Ah, she didn't really love me. Except the man wasn't fully. So, say no. Reach out to the far right leaks next. Reach out to the far right leak. China war? China? China? Have fun. Chad, when is Dark Tide coming out? What the fuck is Dark Tide, bro? I need me some Dark Tide. Mm -hmm. But never in my life was I more excited for summer to be over. Even Lisa, Lisa, who's a summer child, for the first time in her life, she says she's very excited for 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 fall. Cause this shit is just this fucking heat and the dryness and it's fucking not good, man. 30th of November. How's Tommy Jr.? Ah, oh, he's so fucking cute, man. Every day he learns more, man. He he moves more. He It's like a baby. When you have a baby, every day the baby becomes more human. Step by step, little tiny steps. But this baby is more and more showing human behavior. And it's so cute, man. There's this thing now. It's, it, it blows my heart out, dude. In the morning, I wake up, right? Like 6 in the morning. I'm like, Ugh. And Lisa says, take care of the baby. I gotta poop. So I'm like with the baby, right? And what I do is I, go, I roll over to the baby. <laughs> I go over it, I'm like, hi, it's me, daddy, good morning. And I swear to God, he does like this. <laughs> He's laughing at me. And I'm like, oh, and dude, it, it, it's so fucking cute, man. When your own fucking kid laughs at you, man. <sighs> dude, that's nature. That's DNA, right? Nature wants you to think that your baby is cute and stuff. So you protect it more. It's just fucking, you know? God damn, he's a cute fuck. He's a very cute fuck. He had a red ass. His ass was, was uh, he had like a bad spot, a rash on his ass. So I'm now an expert on baby rash asses. What you need to do, like breathe, use creams. You need to use the right type of, like how do you clean an ass? Uh, here's a little tip for any future dads. Never use wet wipes. Wet wipes is lazy stuff. Wet wipes are, there's sometimes perfumes and chemicals and that. Uh, it leaves the baby's ass uh, wet, which is uh, engaging for bacteria and rashes, man. Don't, don't use wet wipes, man. Wet wipes are for a quick one. Like, you're out, out there in the zoo, you fucking wipe his ass with a wet wipe. But if you have time at home, don't use wet wipes, man. Time's running out. Having turned down his allies' over overtures, and with the protests ongoing, Pitong is in an increasingly difficult position. Although both De La Roque and Morong have promised that they will continue to stand by the Junta, our refusal to make meaningful concessions to either man has certainly ensured that their support will be hardly vigorous in the coming weeks. And with the protesters going nowhere, this won't be enough. Will you teach me English? I will. I will. Yeah, I will. Look at that clown. I actually look like a clown lately. Will you try to get into any sports and activities? Obviously. Sure, man. 100%. 
With this in mind, multiple allies of the Tron, including both General de Gaulle and Admiral Dordum, are now once again urging the Marshal to declare martial law, arguing that civilian politics has led to this chaos. We can, we can do this legitimately if we gain the League's support. However, others are urging to make overtures to the far right leagues and see if they will help us. Oh, this is we're getting we're getting Napoleon quick, man. I like that. I hate when you get your path very late in the game. I want to have it early. Okay, make concessions to the right. When Maurras asks you to repeal the law of exile, accept that. Ignore Louis Napoleon demands. No, I didn't, sorry, here. Accept Louis demands. Accept to repeal the law of exile next. Okay. Let's raise the colonies. Uh, trade with the Entente. A massive industry bonus for the rest of the game. Very, very sick. I don't know if you lose that when you take France, but minus three consumer goods. It's not that much on a small nation like mine, but it's something. I mean, eight sips, man. It's not that bad. Even not that many terrorist attacks anymore. But minus 50 PP. And I love Republic in France. Have you heard of Espiocracy? It's an upcoming Cold War spy game in the style of CK2. I will check it later, man. If one day you have a big opportunity, would you become a politician? Never. Being a politician is the worst thing you can ever do. Tommy Jr. will become an MA fighter. Yesterday, no, two days ago, we were at the doctor. And my kid is, look, there's a statistic. They have like this graph. And the graph looks at how old the baby is and how much it weights. And then the graph shows you in what range your baby is in comparison to other babies at that age. My kid used to be in the top 5% biggest babies of his age. He now even evolved into the top 3% of biggest babies his age, man. He is, he's five weeks old, but he's already 59 centimeters on 5.6 kilograms, which is top 3%. Uh, and he's not even fat. Uh, the, the doctor even said he looks, uh, uh, true story, uh, the, the wet nurse, she said, this boy is stable. Stabil in German. He's a very stable guy. He's a Chad, man. He's a Chad. Like, he's very big and tall and strong. Good guy, good guy. Good guy, man. We're creating, you know, the best genes coming together, bro. But he has, like, uh, he has his first diseases. Let me show you my baby. Let me show my baby. So this is what came out at the... Just real quick. So this is my baby. This is my baby. Wait, this is a bit weird. What the fuck is that? So this is my baby. And he had a, a big test two weeks ago. And he has... His first problem is he has a Nabelbruch. Nabelbruch English. Very common. Oh, it's Japanese. Nabelbruchfudu. He has a Nabelbruchfudu. <laughs> Wait, I need German. Where is German? Scottish Gaelic. Um, an umbricle, umbricle hernia. What does that mean? When, when my baby lays on the side, like this is him laying on the side, this is his belly, this is his hands, this is... You see that on stream? His belly button is literally like this. It's really pumping out and that's very normal. Sometimes something breaks here and uh, all the body fluids and stuff go into the, the, the navel, whatever you call it. It's kind of normal. The problem is there's something not so nice. You know, you have intestines, right? Intestines, blah, 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 blah. Unluckily, one of his intestines has gone in here. And what happens now is there's a small chance of like 2% that this could rupture and be very bad. Like you have to instantly call the doctor and instantly get surgery. Other than that, there's a high chance of 90% that in the next three years it resolves itself or you get surgery. But there's a lot of uh, opinions that a baby into full narcosis, not very good. So we're going to wait and hope nothing happens. Secondly, he has a double kidney. You know, normally you have two kidneys like this. One, two. And very often, also very, very normal, he assured us this is very normal. He has like three kidneys. He has a normal kidney and one kidney that turned like into two kidneys. It kind of looks like this on an, on a, on on the scan. The fucker has three kidneys. And once again, in 2% of cases, that can lead to an issue because your horn, the, the thing where the pee comes from can be fucked up here. So that's a problem. Like the kid is five years old, already has these problems, dude. But yeah, no one's perfect. So yeah, that's his problems. Literal space marine. Yeah, he is gonna have the greatest kidneys, man. My main had four kidneys. It's actually very common. People have three kidneys, dude. Very, very common. You grow an extra kidney just for you in the future. Uh, that's like one extra for you. Uh, he's already five years old. Uh, did I say that? He created a lab. Is it Aaron with one A? With one A. If your name is Aaron with two A's, it's kind of fucking redneck style, right? An extra kidney is 150k, bro. Oh, man, he's rich already. Thank you, Cammy. 
Did he inherit ginger hair? Uh, he seems to be blonde, which is very weird. I'm ginger, Lisa's brown haired, and he looks a bit blonde, man. I said five years. Dude, Aaron of two aces, cringe, man. Come on, thank you, Krami. Having been quietly contacted by associates of the president looking for backing Charles Moras, the political philosopher and dominant politician of the Orleanist monarchist and integral nationalist action Francaise, has seemingly formed a clear impression that the junta has become desperate for support. It is with this in mind, it appears, that he and his allies in the AF today announce a new mo uh, in the assembly to formally lift the law of exile against royal pretenders, allowing them back in France. Oh, we're revoking law, so Napoleon's grandkids are allowed back in. Ooh, something's getting interesting. It's not an outright effort to restore the monarchy. It is the crucial first step to doing so, and thus an extremely ambitious move. On the part of Moras, especially telling was Moras's humble request repeated in later speeches by Maurice Puyot on Henri Massis for the support of President Patong in his efforts. Of course, such an endorsement of Moras' move would allow the act to pass with ease and lead to the restoration of the monarchy. But it would seem Moras won't take anything less in exchange for support. So once again, I just want to make sure that I don't do anything wrong. I need to click Repeal the Law of Exiles. Yes, we're backing. The repeal of the law of exiles. Napoleon's family is allowed to Algiers. How many cis trade for the baby? Like mm, 69. Blue and blonde eyes? No. He's he looks. I don't fucking know it. You never know how a baby looks like after a year. Until a year. Like the hair color, the eye color can still change in the first year, so who knows? Why do people always care so much? It's kind of disturbing. This fucking kid was already born. You know what happened when Lisa's dad and my dad come in? You know what Lisa's dad does? Look, Lisa's dad looks like a Sicilian. Fucking brown skin, brown eyes, brown. He looks like Mafia Don, right? Lisa's dad is like, oh, baby, do you have my eyes? Yes, he has my eyes. He looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> and then my dad comes in. Oh, he doesn't have blue eyes. Hitler will be so fucking disappointed, man. Like, everybody cares. The fucking way he looks, man. It's this fucking genetical Nazi shit stuff, man. I'm like, dude, let him. I mean, I would like blue eyes too, you know. I'm just kidding. But, um, dude, why do people care so much? The kid is just trying to poop and eat. And people already care about his eye color. In case fucking Hitler comes back, huh? West Indies request outdated planes. What? They want to see themselves in them. Yeah, I know. You want to see yourself in that. It's like genetics. Obviously, sure, sometimes I look at my baby and I want him to look like me. But also, man, to me, this baby is not me. This baby, this is what a baby is to me. A baby is the culmination and climax, literally, of a relationship. Me and Lisa love each other, came together, and the product is that she pooped out this little baby, man. And I don't care what he... You know what I want him to look like? I want him to look like a mix, and that's what he's doing. He has, like, Lisa's eyes, but he has my chin. He has my eyebrows, but Lisa's ass. <laughs> you know, I want that to be... It should be the knot between two families, you know? Do you want it to be ginger? No. No, why would you always ask that? Nobody wants to be male ginger. The government of the West Indies has requested 25 planes from the Great War. Yeah, let's give them to them. Sure, I'm doing that. I want to be nice to them. Maybe they give me something back. Just to be sure I understand it correctly, does your child sleep in his own bed or if she sleeps with us? I explained that in detail in another stream. I don't want to do it again. Um, one thing I hate about being a dad is that everybody tells you what to do, man. Everybody tells you you need to do this, you need to do that. Dude, the other day I was at my favorite Greek uh, restaurant. I I I'm like really close to this Greek shit, man. And uh, they go on vacation now. There's this guy. I like him. We talk a lot. And I'm like, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? How's the baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm like, yeah, he, he he cries sometimes. He needs a lot of attention. And he's like, brother, Habibi, Habibi, you must let them cry. Just let them cry, brother. Otherwise, they become pussy, man. And I'm like, yeah, maybe that's why you... You know, his wife left him two weeks ago or something. He's kind of sad. He's still wearing the ring. And I'm like, bro, I don't know. Why am I, why am I building this trash? I'm building... Oh, my God, I did not check my building, man. I did not check my building. That is not okay. I, I fucking hate that, that everybody tells you what to do. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna be fucking honest. Most people that tell you how to raise your kids, you look at them and their kids, their, their kids... You know, you go to a birthday party. I'm not gonna... I was at a birthday party some months ago. Not saying what it was. 
I'm sitting there, and there's all these people, mostly villagers. They come from a village, okay? And they're all like, well, you must let them cry. No, don't show too much love. You make them weak. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And then you look at their kid in the corner, and they're like, eh, eh, Daddy, I have ADHD. I'm fucking retarded. Eh, I can't even pass first grade. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know if all your fucking educational tips are really working here, man. Your kid can't even fucking barely make it to janitor school, bro. I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm not going to let him cry and show him some love, okay? Anyway, stop the rant here. Let's build some building stuff. Okay, building stuff. How about like this? I like this build. That's me. Don't let people. Obviously, you want fucking tips and shit, but Écoutez. everybody acts like I know. I know stuff. I have a kid. Let me tell you. Like, yeah, fuck that, man. You should listen to some stuff, man. But you know, and yeah, um. I, I, I talked about this, why the baby sleeps in our bed. Many people think that's wrong and bullshit, but no, no, no. He wouldn't sleep in his own bed. He would cry. And, you know, to me, the greatest argument, the greatest argument in this debate of how to raise a child is, is I, I love this argument. It's my go-to argument is we are mammals. We are mammals. In Africa, in the savannah, when a zebra gets a fucking child, the zebra isn't like, yeah, you go away, man, to go hard, right? A mammal, a child mammal, wants to be in its herd. It wants to be close to its family to feel safe. When a baby is alone in his room and cries for one hour and you're like, oh, let him cry. I think, and maybe even some studies show that now, you, you fucking, you do something bad there, man. This baby wants to feel protected and loved and you're not giving that to them. And I don't know how good that is. <clears throat> Zebras are mammal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlikely in lions. Oh. Oh shit, what happened, dude? Um, you told me I'm a big fan. If I may ask you, how do I be as good as you in Hoi 4? <sighs> it's just Hoi 4, man. Don't worry too much. Don't worry. We sleep in a way that our midwife recommended and it's safe. Yeah, I, I showed it before. I can show it again. So in the beginning, Lisa couldn't sleep. The baby didn't sleep, blah, 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 blah. So there's a technique that our midwife taught us and she's great, it's amazing. So this is how we sleep. This is how we sleep. And this is a tip for anyone who's gonna be dead one day. Uh, I really believe in this shit. Don't listen to other Muppets, man. Listen to me, I know my shit. So I'm sleeping over here. Tommy sleeps here. I mostly sleep like this. Uh, this is me, okay? And Lisa sleeps like this. And the baby is right here. And the baby, obviously, there's nothing there. Uh, no blankets, no no toys, because already they choked. And, dude, Lisa would never roll over him. Dude, in your brain, you, you're paying so much attention uh, to the baby. And this is the best thing. You know why? I, I, I mean, I showed this before. I don't want it again. When the, ba the baby wakes up a lot at night to drink. So what happens is the baby drinks, and Lisa's titty is already here. Lisa's titty is ready. So the baby is like, oh, nom, 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 and everybody can sleep. If you put your baby in a different room, you have to wake up, you will be tired, you have to put on the light, you make everybody wake, you have to walk to a different room, you have to get them, it's fucking bullshit. This is the meta. Tommy K meta, listen to me, this is how you fucking do with a kid. Ugh, that's meta. That is the meta. What's the baby's name? Whoever's the next sub will be the name. With the law of exile having been repealed with Pitong's backing, Jean de Orléans, the Duc de Jou and Orléanist Clément of the throne, has arrived amidst royal celebrations in Algiers. He was also greeted by General de Gaulle, a clear sign of the Junta's growing willingness to back monarchism, as well as a reminder of de Gaulle's own royalist instincts. Many now predict a restoration of the Orléans monarchy within the near future claims that the Junta has been hesitant to deny. Where's Maconi from? What kind of questions that ask him yourself meanwhile then do you know what happens a lot lately and you guys are weird like it happened last night last night it happened last night last night so i wake up 4 a.m and i'm like having to take care of the baby you know and i open my phone and marconi texts me and you know what you guys are so awkward man like in school so what, what often happens is marconi texts me and he's like hey tommy here's a screenshot of a person that wants to talk to you, but is afraid to. And like, what? And then there's always this screenshot. Hello, Marconi, my name is Bangalanga, and I would really like to ask Tommy a question. Could you maybe ask him if I... I'm like, why don't they just text me? A lot of you guys try to go through Marconi to talk to me. It's so weird. And Marconi is always like this Unterhändler. He's like, yo, there's this guy who wants to talk to you about something. Like, what the f... So weird, man. You ignore us? I, I answer every single Discord message. If I don't answer a Discord message, I think you're cringe and I hate you. 
Because you ban everyone? No! I am like the most responsive streamer ever. I answer everything. Fuck you. Every fucking day I answer these. Shut up! Shut up! You wanna see? I always delete that though. Yeah, man, you know that a fucking Ukrainian refugee. I'm a refugee. How can I? And I respond. I always respond. I always respond. But what am I supposed to respond here? Tommy K, what just happened? Edited. Tommy K. What the fuck am I supposed to respond when you guys have an IQ of fucking 20, man? It's it's unbearable. But yeah, if I don't respond, it's like I, I don't really give a shit about your stuff. So. Meanwhile, the newspapers are supporting... Supporters of the action from Cesar have taken a firmly pro-Junta stance recently, rallying around Pitong as a presumed savior of... Nah, we're going with Orléans. Populism and authoritarian democracy are completely taking over, and the whites that protests are getting much better. Everything's working as planned. The protests are very weak now. So what happened, Tommy? I... Everyone will message you now? Uh, no. Especially this fucking Muppet, man. This fucking guy, man, I swear to God. Dave has to generally get a hobby, man. <laughs> a, a spanner in the works. Napoleon Bonaparte! Oh! Until the day, all has been going well and smoothly in our collaboration with Morass and the AF. Most have come to believe that the Junta will live on, even if the monarchy will return. However, things became notably more complicated today. <laughs> With the repeal of the Law of Exile, having allowed every royal claimant to return, Louis Bonaparte, claimant to the throne of the French Empire, arrived in Tunis today. This has considerably disrupted our plans for a smooth... So this guy should have a, a, a bonus. Smooth consolidation of power, with the roots of resurgent the Bonapartism now beginning to grow. Having to choose between the two royal houses is less than desirable. Many of Pitong's allies, including the Gaulle, simply argue that we should ignore Bonaparte. Wow, you're not a French guy, traitor? The Empire fell in 1807, and there is no organized political movement equivalent to the action from states that can fight for its restoration. Uh, however, others, including Francois Delong, are arguing that this is a good opportunity not to let Moras' influence grow too out of hand, and that we should tactically support the more easily controllable Bonaparte. Welcome, Louis Bonaparte! Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Do you ever think of playing Warmer Free multiplayer campaign? Nah, nah. I hate multiplayer, man. I hate people, dude. I wanna always be alone. It's very rarely I wanna play games with someone else, man. I, I'm just really a loner. I like being alone a lot. Dude, my, my dentist has invited me. I hope he doesn't watch this. So here's another story. I have a, I have a story for you guys. So, when I moved to Leipzig and I became a bit more richer, something happened. I got a new dentist. Uh, my old dentist, uh, an old woman that took care of my teeth for 27 years, she was fucking ultra trash. She, she was so bad, she would make so many mistakes, she was ridiculous, man. So I arrived, but I never knew anything different. So I arrived in Leipzig and I found this new dentist that Lisa's family will go to. Uh, and I go to him. Uh, Marconi, don't put this on YouTube because he's gonna watch this. I don't want him to see this. Uh, I'm shy. And this dentist is so fancy. Like, fuck, I've never seen such a fancy dentist. The newest equipment. Dude, you lay in the chair and there's a fucking TV on top showing you fucking Caribbean oceans and shit. It's so fancy, right? And I've been with him now for two years and we've become very, very friendly, man. Uh, uh, I think he loves that I'm a streamer and he's really young and he's open-minded and he wants to do Instagram and his own dentist YouTube channel. He's re I really like this guy. He's actually really good at his job. And we've become very, very close. Thank you, Batera. And last week, I was at my dentist, and the, the nurse comes in, and the nurse is like, Mr. <clears throat> the dentist has been happy to see you all week. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, like, he really wants to talk to me, because I'm, like, exciting to him. And it happened, guys. I talked to him for, like, an hour, right? And then he says, would you like to go for a beer sometime? And this, there was this moment where I'm like, Tommy, a fancy dentist wants to be friends with you. You truly arrived in the middle class. You totally are traitor to the working class now. Holy shit, man. Holy crap, man. He wants to go on a date, yeah. And uh, th there's two things with that, right? Number one, and if you ever see this, Mr. Dentist, I I, I like you a lot, man. I really, I want to do it with you, you know, the beer. But I've, I've always been such an introvert. I'm such an antisocial guy. 
dude, the fucking chance are cool to invite me on a beer. I will be like, eh. like I don't want to leave the house, you know. I'm like really like, eh. I want to do it because he's cool and stuff. But do you guys have that feeling? Maybe it's when you get older. But I'm like, I don't want to go out. Not even if you know. And secondly, another very interesting thing. And uh, as I'm saying this, this is totally not his fault or anyone else, right? The point is, Chet, right? If I wasn't a streamer, if I was a regular dude, we would never have become friends. What I realize in my life lately is that... Uh, and I'm saying this not to show off. I'm saying this because I think it's a bit sad and superficial. Just because I'm a successful streamer, a shit ton of doors open up to me, man. Like, my, my dentist treats me really well. Uh, in other scenarios, like, I, I'm there's a guy working at the bank who really likes me and my story because I'm, like, interesting to them. I'm not just some random lawyer or roofer. I'm, like, a streamer, and they really are interested in that. They always like to talk to me and my stories, and it's, like, exciting to them. And what happens with that is that in life, often people that have, would have not looked at me for a second years ago when I was a nobody are suddenly treating me really well with respect and they invite me and they give me bonuses and they, you know, they treat me better like average citizens. And even though that's cool and stuff, I, I always feel like that's... I feel a bit bitter aftertaste with that shit, right? Because it's like... Like today, I told you the story. My dad could not get a fucking rehab today. Because my dad is nobody. He has no good insurance. He's not rich. He has nothing, right? And they treated him like shit today, my dad, dude. But if I come in with my fucking private insurance, it's like, Oh yeah, mister, let me wipe your ass and... I always feel like um, you deserve it. I think, don't think anyone deserves that, man. I think everyone should be treated equally, especially with health insurance and stuff. And it's always a bit bitter sight taste, man, you know? And I sometimes wonder, and again, this is no diss to anyone, like Mr. Dentist, I, I like you. This is not against you. It's just that I sometimes feel like, will people like the dentist ever talk to me like this if I wasn't a streamer, you know? And uh, that's why I think I'm so connected to my old friends. Like friends I had before I had a streamer and Lisa who dated me before I was a streamer Because they loved me when I was a nobody and that's why I like them so much man um, I don't know it's a, it's a weird thing and I think about it a lot you know Dude the richer you get the more life gets easy man people treat you so well and stuff and The bowl this is crazy man it's crazy I, I, I don't know how to feel about that when people are successful new doors open it does not matter How you got successful new doors will open yeah I don't know how fair that is though you know When's the Anno video coming on YouTube? I don't know, ask Tony. How did you only submit the Tinder? The dentist will plant a track in your tooth. <laughs> Before Tommy was famous, he tried to make beef between us. Dude, man, I had to... This is how I grew, man. I tried to do drama for everyone. Moras is anger. So, wait, 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 wait. Moras is angry. Except... Fully endorse Napoleon and we're done. We can't backtrack Bonaparte. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte becomes the new Prime Minister of Algerian France. He, he costs five consumer goods. Piece of shit, man. Oh, shit. Uh, and did you agree to go for a beer or not? Uh, I can't. I'm too busy with the kid. I told him when I'm better with the kid. I will get a beer with him, 100%. It's just that I'm not talking shit about getting a beer with him. I like the guy. I want to get a beer with him. It's just the whole act of leaving the house in the evening and getting a beer with someone. I... I'm such a fucking hermit, you know? I just want to sit at home all the time and play games. <clears throat> Akoni did a great job on the vid. What video? With Pitong having publicly given his t tacit support to the young Louis Bonaparte, claim to the throne, the Orleanist action française, which has so far been in invaluable to our efforts to preserve the junta, has been thrown into a fury. Senior members of the AF have stormed out of the meeting with Pitong's loyalist and Charles Moros own own less than flattering remarks about the president have been eagerly picked up by sensationalists in the press. With this new crisis threatening to undermine our continued control and power, many within Pitong's clique, notably General de Gaulle, are strongly urging the marshal to make a necessary U-turn. Fuck you, Charles de Gaulle, piece of shit. We're bringing Napoleon back. However, many others uh, insist that by distancing ourselves from the F, we made the right choice, stopping our influence from growing unchecked. Turning around nowadays, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna back Napoleon Bonaparte. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, our new head of government, man. Sims 4 video? Oh, that video is so good. I've seen it. That video is so good. Did Marconi make that? Because uh, I have a lot of editors on my channel now. That is a crazy good video. It will unfortunately only get 50k views because it's The Sims. But that is one of the fun most fun videos I've seen in a while. Edited by... Subaku. You know, uh, Marconi didn't make this video. I don't know who you are, Subaku, but you work for me, apparently. But you did a great job. I just think you use um, the meme too much. 
You guys want to see what over editing is? I show you. You want to see over editing? I show you something. Na, 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 na. Hey, Watch. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Tommy, Tommy, wait. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Funny introduction. Wait. wait. Stop being. You, you look wait. like an idiot. Wait. Talk to her. What does all the girl do to a shitty neighborhood like wait. this? Wait. Girl. So we're trying this new thing on the channel where this is like younger editing. This is editing for young ADHD you people. You know, a lot of memes. And then this, this year, this year. Uh, Zubaku? Zubaku, man. I think you did a great job. I love this video. Me and Lisa left our ass off. But you're using this one so much. The dude. Like this, girl. How you doing? What? Dude. He uses it every two seconds. Shut up, Tommy. That this TV you thing. You, chat, you little virgins. <laughs> Wait, again. Dude. You see, he's strategy. using that a bit too much. Like 20% so less, 20% less. Next opinion. one, wait. About the new tank DLC. <laughs> <Tommy has> nerd... <laughs> it's a great video, though. Check it out, guys. I'm not even trying to make commercial here. I was laughing my ass off. Something different, you know, and just having fun, dude. Uh, you will feel a bit of over editing, but he's new, he's learning, and he did a great job, I think. Subaku, I'm, I'm a big fan of your video, man. We laughed our ass off. Very cool video, man. <clears throat> Do you think it's weird that just a few years ago saying that your YouTuber streamer was frowned upon? Now it's respected? I always thought so. You know, especially Germany is always behind with the brain and it was crystal clear that in the future being an influencer is going to be a big thing and people will get to know it more and it will be uh, accepted in society. Let's get free naval dockyards, man. It was clear that's going to come. You know, it's, it's very dumb in my opinion to be against the future. Let's make an example, TikTok. I don't think it's clever to be like, oh, TikTok is so stupid. I would never use it. Uh, da, da, da. If you are a business and if you want to become big and make money, you cannot go blind against trends. If TikTok is the biggest thing in the world right now, then TikTok can be a door for you to go through to get more successful. That is just a fact. And you know, people walking around in the last 10 years, oh, YouTube is trash. Uh, influencers? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. All the influencers are rich fucks now and they control the youth, dude. You know? It's a fact. What, you know, there's facts in life. In Germany, we have a saying. You go with time or you go with time. You know, I love that one. It is what it is, man, you know? And uh, you can be against TikTokers and streamers and influencers or not. It doesn't matter. They will still take over. The next 10 years belong to them. We will see what the next thing is, but that's the thing, dude. You know? <clears throat> the old always fears the new. Yeah, and fearing the, the, the new is making you slow and weak even as an entertainer man I, you know you have to i can't sit you for 10 more years and do uh, for content i want to switch around right go into warhammer go into dark tide test new shit out man because if i'm stuck here man i'm gonna end up like all these washed up high four uh, content creators man that are just stuck there forever and i don't mean it's as a diss as, i don't want to diss anyone right but everybody has to always reinvent themselves or you're gonna get fucked man uh, some historian i don't give a shit I learned that from PewDiePie, man. Like, PewDiePie taught me that. He once said you gotta always change, and his content always improved, changed. That's what you gotta do, man. <clears throat> I need to get another drink, man. Have you played Kazrak Egypt? No. I need to get a drink real quick. I also gotta watch a video soon. One sec, I need to get a drink. I'm so dehydrated. NSP wins the Russian election. Radical Socialist NSP, the Senate. Uh -huh. Okay, one sec, I'm back in one minute. Reaction streams are trend. Yeah, reaction, reaction. Um, not just reactions, but reaction to life events. Uh, we started with the Johnny Depp Amber Hart trial, man. You, you, you know, when I react, no, let's talk, let's talk. One sec. When I react to documentaries about random shit, 1k viewers. When I react to history and Ukraine war, 2k viewers, 2.5k viewers. Reacting to current events is, I think, the current meta and the new meta for some years. Yeah. Okay, one sec. in here man where the fuck is winter did you watch dark wiper a new video series of what i don't know what that is <sighs> thank you yuri tiger two years yuri tar good joke thank you yuri for two years brother uh, and we're gonna end the stream soon and i'm gonna watch the new channel 5 video for 30 minutes we gotta actually call it in a sec i started watching you for 40s since you're done subs and subs when you had a uh, lot cool two years
We could also check the new Death Diary. I have so much to do, man. I hope that soon I have more time on stream and we're better with the baby and stuff. But right now, we just gotta, you know, grind it. And I have so much to do on the stream, but no time, dude. So let's finish um, one more focus after this. And then I gotta already go to reaction content, man. Malta secures independence. That could be invadable later. <clears throat> He made a critique on reaction content on YouTube. Okay, cool. Cool. You know, I'm I have this thinking, which some people don't agree with, where I'm like, if you make money and in phase two you can sleep at night, who the fuck cares? You know, a lot of people, even me back in the day, like to talk shit about oh, yeah. these naked girl streamers. Oh, she's showing her tits for money and she makes millions. It's she's such a slut. I think that's loser behavior. If she can sleep at night, right, and doesn't get fucked because of her content, and if she makes money, the fuck cares, dude? The world is ice cold. The world is a hard place. And the only way to make it is money. You gotta make money in, in order to, to step it up. Society doesn't care. If you walk around, I will never watch a bathtub streamer. Good for you, good for you. It doesn't change the fact, though, that that girl is gonna make millions of dollars. If, whether you like it or not, right? So why be mad about it and waste your time? Or just accept it how it is, you know? It's the world we live in. <clears throat> Don't hate the player, hate the game, you know? But the important point, can you sleep at night, you know? Oh, here we go. Can Oh. The national state of France would be known as the French Empire. Nine stability, paternal autocrat, which I am now. At non-existent popular support for the restoration. Oh, the people are not supporting the restoration, man. Uh, at Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. She can be a whore and... I.E. with this fact. What? what I, dude, I'm gonna sound very feminist here, man. But a lot of you guys, if you could make a shit ton of money by showing your body on Twitch, you will fucking do it, man. But you can't. So, I, I don't get the hate for, like, porn actresses or bathtub streamers, man. Like, bro... You jerk off all the time to weird stuff? If she would want to date you, you would be the first one to say yes. So why do you always... I think it's even loser behavior, almost. To always blame oh, these fucking women, fucking women. That's loser behavior, man. A winner is someone that focuses on his own shit, you know? And not about others. So who cares about these girls? Don't waste time and make your own thing, you know? I mean, don't make your own OnlyFans. No one's gonna watch that. Um, so I have really big debuff here. I get the- he's still the head of government, and I get remove simmering discontent. Ah, at least I get 25 pp back. Overall I get- oh, Napoleon becomes a general. Ooh. With Piton having doggedly supported young Louis Bonaparte for several weeks now, in the face of anger from liberals and the far right alike, few were surprised today when President Piton uh, uh, declared the First Republic to be at end. In a simple and brief act, obediently passed by Piton's allies in the assembly in spite of the Orleanist AF, delegates storming out, the French Empire, the great nation with one shed stretch from Haiti to Moscow, was reborn. Louis Napoleon, having met repeatedly with Piton over the past weeks, has declared emperor and a formal coronation is set to be under preparation. Although many came to predict such a move, the restoration of a largely discredited monarchy, which has never had a political movement to continue his legacy like Orleanist, has come as a profound shock to almost everyone. Nevertheless, most citizens have taken a positive attitude towards this, even though, yeah, many are still against it. We're fucking... What up, man? The new eagle. He actually has a bonus. I'm gonna read the story later. Let's do one more focus after this. Oh, you can change his outfit? That's so cool, dude. Oh, that looks cool. Hey, the black suit, man? Like a man in black? Dude, you can change his outfit. How cool is that? I like the black suit, bro. I like the black suit. What else you got? <laughs> oh, money. The French Empire returns. He's a sexy dude, man. He's looking good. Today, in the move that shocked the world, France, and most importantly, his allies in the Action Francaise, Piton has announced the crowning of Louis Napoleon as Napoleon the Sixth. This was a clear attempt to keep Maurras from taking over France. The new emperor is a very delicate situation with few allies and almost nobody supporting him. Will he be able to take back France? This is Kaiser Redux. Marconi. Marconi. National rearmament. One research and four mils. Four mils, man. Oh. On the... Dude, I have Napoleon. I need artillery, man. 
I need artillery. Okay, guys, uh, final focus. And then I'm going to react to a videos. And maybe even the, 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 the death diary, man. Yeah, streams are over fast nowadays, but I'm busy, you know. What else we got? What else we got? Mm? A bit more ligere, a bit more not so in your face, a bit more La Croix, a bit more Paris. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Finally, we have two more. Show me more options. Are you fucking insane? Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like this one. This is style, man. This is like style. Hey, so, I saw you watch Caspian Report. I made a list for reactions and then... When did you make... Makori, where's that list? You made a list for me to react to stuff? Where's that list? I don't... He looks like a pilot. I didn't send it to you yet. Oh, you can, dude. I will totally watch it. But yeah, that was good content, Makori. I wonder how that does on YouTube, but on Twitch, they loved it, man. When I react to, like, world history and war and stuff, they love that shit, dude. I gotta watch the new Kings and Generals about the Ukraine war. I mean, the number one video, Makori, now is how I react to World War II, right? How did he lose? <laughs> dude, we have more, man. Dude, we have so many uniforms. Wow. Dude, that's a really cool gimmick that you can do that, man. Play modern than I, I don't like Millennium Dawn at the moment, man. Millennium Dawn is a bit uh, to me. You know, I was thinking about I was thinking about my content and stuff. You know what was my favorite Millennium Dawn gameplay? It was Iran. Cause with Iran, you just did what you want. You did your own you did your own thing. You could go west, north, blah blah blah. You could do so much, man. I really enjoyed that. And I I if I come back to Millennium Dawn, I gotta play a miner that really has a lot of openness where I can go many different ways and I have to work hard and stuff. I like this shit. Dude, these uh, portraits are so cool, man. Look how many there are. Oh, man. <laughs> That's like Napoleon when he was in Leipzig, bro. I live close to, um, like, five minutes away, there's a little hill with a statue of Napoleon. And it said this is where he was seeing the Battle of the, the, the People or some shit. Battle of the People? You know what I mean, right? History nerds. Tell me, do you vote? What kind of question is that? Come on. Um, what's that? Mm. Dude, I like the one where he looked like a Navy Admiral the most. Battle of Nations. Battle of Nations. I, I actually live very close to the Battle of Nations. That's kind of where Tommy K lives. There's a big monument here from the Battle of the Nations. They always reenact it and stuff. There's like a guild here that of old men that reenact this stuff. Do you watch anime, Tommy? Not anymore. Not anymore. I don't have time to watch anything anymore. I've actually seen a movie yesterday. I've seen a movie yesterday, and I'm gonna sh oh, I'm gonna do a thing. Oh, you guys are gonna hate me. So, I've seen the Gray Man yesterday with Ryan Gosling. I like Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling is sick. I fucking like this guy. Now, there is clearly a new trend in Hollywood. What is the trend? It's I call them John Wick movies. Everyone gets a John Wick movie now. John Wick, uh, uh, Bob Odenkirk got nobody. Ryan Gosling got the Gray Man. Uh, uh, Brad Pitt is doing his own uh, bullet train or something he's getting his own everybody is doing john wick movies because they're so successful man a man that doesn't talk much killing everyone in cool uh, choreographies man people love that shit right i'm gonna say it i think they're overhyped i think i think john wick movies are not that good i think they're trash like the gray man wasn't that good it's just you have this actor who doesn't even talk much and he's like hmm, yeah i don't talk much i killed you you are a traitor. And I, I'm sorry, man. I mean, nobody with Bob Odenkirk. I'm oh, pretty fucking good. I'm pretty fucking good. Supply deliberation. Let's get this real quick. So one more focus, guys. Bunch of bonuses here. Supply deliberation. And, dude, John Wick movies are not even good. Okay? And Keanu Reeves isn't even that good of an actor. Oh, 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 unsub, unsub. Look. If Keanu Reeves will call himself the Messiah and make his own religion, I will join him. I love Keanu Reeves. But listen, for four movies just being like... Yes. No. I'm gonna kill you. I told you. I'm gonna kill you. John Wick! Dude, there's like no acting, okay? The story is fucking weird. The only cool thing is all these performances. Oh, he's using a pen. I don't like this new John Wick movie hype, okay? It's too basic. You can do political tree now. I wanna just finish this real quick. <clears throat> Check 
Check out Bullet Train. I, I like that nobody movie with Bob Odenkirk, man. Dude, by the way, talk about Bob Oden Odenkirk. Apparently, the final episode of Better Call Saul has just aired. I've never seen... I, 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 I stopped Better Call Saul after uh, three seasons. It was too slow and boring for me, but... Everybody says Better Call Saul is insane. It's so good. The ending is amazing, and... I feel like I did Better Call Saul wrong, and I gotta totally go back to it, man. Now, where is that uniform I liked? The final episode was amazing. Yeah, people talk very, very good stuff about Better Call Saul. I gotta fucking watch it, man. I just always felt like the, the early seasons are so slow, bro. Like, nothing is going on, bro. Dude, where is that uniform I want? There it is. I like this one. That, that style, bro. The style. The Rise of Socialist Anti-Colonial Committee. Our contact legend specialists have noted the recent surge of syndicalist... Oh, the fucking communists are my country. Yeah, nobody had, like, realistic fighting. True. I gotta go back to Better Call Saul, man. Yeah. Probably really, really, really good show. But yeah, me and Lisa don't have much time at the moment. Sometimes we can turn on the laptop and watch a TV show that only has 20 minute episodes. And that is Scrubs, man. We're watching so much Scrubs at the moment, man. I, I watch Scrubs all the time. And you know, I, I'm a 9-gagger. I scroll around the 9-gag. And it's so... I think it's so cute. And it's so fulfilling that so many people are posting memes about Scrubs. And they're like, man, I can't, I'm watching Scrubs again. It's so good. So many people are saying, fuck Disney+. Plus. I'm not going to watch Obi-Wan and all that trash. I'm watching Scrubs. And sometimes I hope... Heck, you held us. Sometimes I hope that Disney looks at their stats and they're like, wait, man. Almost as many people are watching Scrubs as our expensive Star Wars shit. Which shows them, yeah, make good TV shows, man. Just make good TV shows, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah Scrubs is... It's Crimean independence. What is this, real life? Solomon Krim. That's that's a nice name, dude. Oh, the Ottoman Empire is securing him. Fucking Crimea, man. This is foreshadowing, guys. I'm a big 9 gagger, dude. I'm always a 9 gag. But I'm getting a bit tired of 9 gag lately. Why? Let's talk again. Maybe you guys see the same on your meme websites. I don't know, Reddit or your... I don't know what the fuck your lucky memes on. I have um, made an observation about meme websites lately, which is annoying me a bit. And that is, I don't post on 9 no, what the fuck? What the fucking hell? I made um, an observation. Do you guys know what observation I'm gonna say here? I wonder. I have an observation about on meme websites lately. Do you guys have any idea what I mean? I wonder. Fake sponsored content reposts. Join the IDEC. Oh, that's the Scientist Council of the Entente. Okay, let's, let's finish this entire tree and then tomorrow we can, you know, one mil and a shit ton of air. Let's do that. Subsidize plane production. And then we have cool shit tomorrow. Memes. I'm not a 9 gag pro plus. I'm not a virgin. Too political? Interesting that you guys don't feel... No one is saying what I feel. You know what I feel on meme websites lately? They're getting more and more sexual. You know, when I scroll on 9 gag, there's a lot of different memes. News memes anime memes sometimes there's uh, there's a section i get about sexy girls like a sexy girl posing whatever back in the day it would be memes 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 ha 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 and once occasionally in every 50 memes a sexy girl where you're like hmm, okay what's her name sure nowadays you scroll nine gig it's just tits it's anime titties it's it's so sexual now like i feel like you young people are getting first here every day every fucking day just Dude, I, I want to just look at memes. I'm old now. I don't care about women anymore. I'm fucking a dad now. You know, I don't... Fuck, whatever. But all the time, it's just... Mm -hmm, what's your name? What's the sauce? The fucking anime girls. Always anime girls. I'm like, you're fucking degenerates, dude. Get your fucking bullshit away. Yeah. You can block categories? You can do that? The coming out forces far outnumbered our own. And as such, we will need to dominate the skies in order to push them back. And also to protect our Mediterranean supply lines. As such, we should greatly extend our subsidiaries for planes. One mil and a bunch of air. Okay, that means we're finishing the tree today. And then tomorrow we can start the Napoleon tree, man. I'm actually quite excited. It's cool. Yeah, let's get that into supply. What is this sauce, man? I'm so horny. I could just go to Pornhub, but I want the sauce to your picture. Admiral Kolchak, murder the cunts. I'm not. Dude, Kolchak, man. That's the guy I made a lot of use with. Oh, fuck, he's dead. <laughs> Mm. Actually targeted. Oh. Just scrolled 9 for 10 seconds and saw free sexy meme videos. 
Could have been Ran, King of Kambodja capitulated. Governor of Bohemia. For tomorrow, there's a resource slot under the gold's plan. I know, I know, I know. But I gotta see what focuses are very important. I also need already mode. I also gotta build the Trans Siberian Railway, otherwise, uh, Trans African. Trans Sub Saharan Railway. Uh, because otherwise, these uh, colonies are always gonna rebel. Show Crimea focus tree. Makoni told me they have a focus tree. And they become Ukraine. Yeah, Makoni told me to play this. And maybe one day we're gonna do it. They have a crazy focus tree, man. And there's a lot of reposts, yeah. I genuinely believe the dumbest people on earth is if you go to 9 gag and you click on fresh. So on 9 gag there's like like good memes, like memes of upvotes, and there's a section called fresh. This is a section where everyone on earth is allowed to upload a meme. And it's the most degenerate, 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 degenerate thing on earth. I think I shouldn't do it because it's probably gonna be nudes in there, but it's so fucking degenerate, man. Oh, disable that block? Ah, fuck that. Like, if you ever want to fucking kill yourself, man, go to 9 gag and press on fresh. Like, the stuff that people think is funny, it makes you feel, wow. Wow, we deserve, we need to be exterminated by nature, man. Are you playing Kazrak? No, this is uh, Power Rangers Zero. I would like to finish the stream with the finish of the industry tree and early mode. It would be a good uh, warm up into this content here. And then show me the political. Oh, oh, the others got deleted. That's nice. That's nice. Destiny has accomplished its purpose. Dude, if I get France back, I get this focus stream, man. Yes. I don't know what that is. Wait, if I get France back, I get this and this. And this? Upon destroying the army's prestige after the successful liberation. Dude. And that's what I wanted to do. This is the new update from the last update of Kaiser Redux. If you get France mainland back, you get these three focus trees. Oh my god, that's... I love that shit. I love that. What PC mouse do you use? Who cares? I don't know. Who cares? I mean, you have industry, but you need to also do the railway. It's so important. Oh man, I'm kind of... This is going to be exciting. I'm feeling this. I love that. I always said the best way to build a focus tree in Hoi 4, in any mod or vanilla, is to have phases. Uh, you know, like, let's make an example. Um, let's talk about vanilla, it's Italy, right? A good focus tree, which I wonder what they're gonna do in the new update, is phases. Phase 1, Etopia and rebuild the country. Phase 2, uh, World War 2 or something, or, or take Savoy. Phase 3, call out the Roman Empire and get course. And even phase four, take Washington and something else. Like always, a good design in Hoi 4, which I ask everyone to do, every developer is, to always have a follow-up. Oh, the player did something? Like, let's, an example. You play Siam, and you make the Rakala Bungara Empire, right? Where when you have all this, you can make this empire. Then, the player unlocks a brand new focus tree that says, once you build the Rakala Banga Empire, you get a brand new focus tree. And step by step, the player has always a goal to achieve. He has always something to do. And I think that's good design. And I want to see that Monhoi 4 from developers and stuff. Uh, I don't see it enough yet. I think that's why Kaiserreich is so good, because they do that a lot. Here we get early mode legit. And, and that's what I would like to see more, man. It'd be great. Like, TNO. TNO is fucking autistic. Don't fucking talk about TNO. TNO is completely... Come on. TNO is... It's like a very sexy girl. But once you're with her, she is gonna cut your dick off. You know, TNO is so great in the core, but the fucking UI is... They should be sued for that UI. They should be sued. Tell me there's a mod! Shut up. It's a visual novel. It's also hard for a streamer to play TNO because you gotta read everything. Okay, I think I wanna... Call it here today. We finished the industry tree. I got a bunch of industry bonuses. I still have these, these protests I probably should take care of. But I have supply deliberation. I have trade with the Entente. Looking good. Got a bunch of industry. 34 is not bad. And I even have early mode. Very good start. Finishing the final sieve. Looking good. This is fun. I can't wait to do more tomorrow. I hope this doesn't crash again or some shit. But I want to finish the stream with a reaction, man. 